Next to me I have two fig trees, both in different stages, but that were once the same. A long, slender, pretty badly shaped fig tree. And what I want to show you is an incredibly easy but important technique called notching. Now what you do with notching is you decide where you want your branches. So it's a very, very powerful technique. This one, for example, this branch here was notched last year. So this is all last year's growth. And this year you can see it's pushing out. Then I did a video and I'll tag it up for you on how to trunk chop the fig trees that are long, tall, slender things like this. And it was this tree, chopped it there. You'll see in that video I also mentioned notching. And in all the places where I notched the tree, I'm starting to get branches, except for one little spot here, which I'll go into in a later video when I talk about distributing fig tree energy and growth. But for the sake of this video, I want to show you firstly how to notch a fig tree. There is quite a specific technique to it. And then I want to show you the effects of it by showing you real growth on notched nodes so that you can see not just how to do it and that I say it works, but you can see that it actually works. Okay, so to get started, you need a fig tree, obviously. Then what you need is a sharp, very sharp knife that has been cleaned. This is a grafting knife. Um, so you can see it's got one side very, very sharp. And then it's got a little area here that you can use to wedge in and then open up so you can graft a little branch on. We're not going to do that now, but what I want to do is show you how to notch firstly. What you need to know about notching is fig trees have these very clearly defined sections throughout. And within each section, you can see there are dormant buds everywhere. They are little bumps. And what you are doing when you are notching is you are cutting above the node. And that is breaking the flow of sap and energy, which would normally go up and down. And because you're cutting it above, what happens is the sap flows up, it hits, it hits the notch, and then it needs to figure out how to go around it. So then it's pulling above the node, which is in essence concentrating all the energy, all the hormones and growth in one spot or multiple spots, which then wakes the bud up and causes it to grow. It, the energy obviously still goes to the rest of the tree, as you can see in the other one that I have. But what it does is it wakes these buds up and forces them to grow when they otherwise probably would not have. So the principle of notching is you go above the node. So if we look at this one over here, we're going to go above it, probably about a centimeter up. And we are going to cut into the wood at a 45 degree angle from the top. And then we're going to do a vertical cut just above the node, which is going to give us almost what looks like when you hit into a tree with an ax, um, that, that chiseled shape. So open your sharp knife. You want to go about a centimeter above and then 45 degrees in. And then you want to go straight across like that and there you can see the little notch has come out i can put it on here and show you there's a little notch that has come out now what we have done here is we have now decided this is where one of the branches are going to come out and this is probably another spot So there we have one, there we have one. And with fig trees, you want a bowl vase, open vase shape. So we want to look for another one. We've got one that's gonna come out here, 
one that's going to come out here and now ideally we want one this way or that way so let's look for a bud here is the third bud that we're going to notch so that we're going to then have a branch coming out that way a branch coming out that way a branch coming out this way which we can then shape further so we're going to take just about 45 degrees in flat across take the little notch out and there you have it what's important is that you don't go too deep you want to go just into the hardwood so you'll see that there's quite a defined cambium layer within the figs that's basically where it bleeds from um, and then there's a hardwood section within it so you want to get into the hardwood and through the cambium so my general rule is if you can go about a third of the way in that's enough you don't want to go too much because then you have a point of potential breakage and you don't want to go too little because then it could potentially just grow over without stimulating the bud so now that we've notched this fig tree all we're going to be doing as the next two steps is we're going to just pinch off the growing tips at the very very top of the tree which is about a meter and a half high what that'll do is just break up the hormone flow the auction auxins at the tip of the, the tree send those down disrupt the sap flow but just to get even more sap flow to these get them to grow they will without a doubt during this season still swell and start to push out then what we can do is during winter we'll come a node a section above the top notched section and cut that off i did a video on making fig tree cuttings which i'll add at the top and then the rest of the section at the top we'll just turn into cuttings so we have a whole bunch of new fig trees then what happens is the following spring we already have our selected branches which will then just go and boom explode so what i want to do is some, show you some real world effects of notching so if you look at this branch which is a new branch that grew like i said this section grew last year and now spring has started there's some little nodes showing up there which means we're going to get little figlets but if we look right in the little crack there you can see the notch that section was notched last year we've got this growth coming out i wanted to do that just before i did the hard prune to have some green growth going and you can see it's worked really well now let's look you can see it's freshly pruned let's look how the notched sections are doing on this after about two weeks of cutting okay so here's one section you can see the the notch and here's the growth very clearly growing from the notched section here's the other one notched section and growth so now this is where I wanted a branch. That's where I wanted a branch. There was one other section that I wanted a branch that hasn't grown yet, which I'm going to tip prune this one just to balance out the growth, which will then also get going. And that's this one over here. You can see the bud has started swelling. It hasn't yet taken because there's some extra growth up here that we didn't plan for those two. But what we'll do is pinch those two off and pinch this one which will then send all the energy back down the trunk and will without a doubt wake that node up because it's been notched and we'll get that branch out and we'll have our four branch vase shaped fig tree scaffold in pots i like to grow figs in the the vase shape just because it maximizes the return you get based on the limited amount of space that the fig tree has to grow so I hope you're feeling a bit more confident to tackle this. It's a, a pretty useful technique. It can give you the branches where you want rather than making a cut and hoping for the best. Um, it allows you to build a really nice structured scaffolded tree that you can, you can then build on from there. It's pretty simple, 45 degrees, flat at the bottom. Make sure it's going in about a third of the way and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share the knowledge with other fig growers and people who you might know that have figs. 
They're awesome to have, easy to grow, get lots of fruit, pretty pest free. It's an all round great fruit treat to have. However, they do have a reputation for being a little bit wild, getting leggy. So hopefully with some of the techniques I'm showing you, you can learn how to master the shape and growing habits of this awesome fruit tree. Until next time, happy gardening!